So what I'm saying is Agile is the new organizational solution for prospering, for competing successfully in a VUCA world. Does everybody understand why I use the word framework rather than methodology? That's a deliberate choice. Okay, methodology is like a recipe for you know, baking a cake. Take two eggs, you know, add water, mix, beat to death, whatever, add butter. A framework, let's go back to our example of chess. Um, chess is a framework. You've got the board with the alternating you know, squares of alternating colors. You've got the different pieces and each one has its own, their own rules about how they must move, right? But it doesn't tell you how to play the game. That's up to you. As long as you move the knight like a knight and not like a bishop, right? Or a bishop like a bishop and not like a rook, you're fine. That's a framework. Scrum is a framework, not a methodology. This is, for people in leadership positions, this is one of the hardest mental transitions to make. This leap from a project-oriented organization to a product-oriented organization. Here's what you should not do. You should not make a big deal out of it. Do not hang banners. Do not have kickoff meetings. Do not put out newsletters. Don't do any of that crap. Just start behaving differently. Simple problems? Don't bother with Agile. You're trying to move your email from one server to another? You're trying to move your data center from one building to another? You know what to do. You know how to do it. Just go do it. If it's so large that you need a formal project plan, fine. If you can do it from a spiral notebook in your shirt pocket, fine. You do it. The unknown, that's a process of discovery. This is how do we put a man on the moon in 10 years? You know, that's a whole different set of rigor. But everything in between, everything that's complex, um, that's where Agile has a good fit. So it's not one size fits all. What can I do to the physical environment, the cultural environment, the political environment, the financial environment to help my team? I'm one of those offstage people. What can I do to make sure that what's going on on stage is awesome for the audience? Cutting costs is easy. Cutting costs will show results within the quarter to affect earnings per share. Delivering value is hard. Usually takes more than a quarter. But now you can't do that anymore because in Agile, it's all about creating value for the customer. The most effective change actually happens from the middle out. Some enlightened and motivated manager somewhere in the middle organization says, I want to make the corner of the planet for which I'm responsible a little better. They just need air cover from their boss. That's it. And there's a great Teddy Roosevelt quote, do what you can with what you've got where you are. Because when you're driving this change, you need, your, the, your biggest obstacle is escaping the gravitational pull of the existing culture. It's like an Apollo moonshot. There are three dimensions on which an organization will compete. Low cost, which requires operational excellence. Right? High service, which requires customer intimacy. Product leadership, which requires innovation. Now here's the rule. You have to be competent at all three, but you must excel at one. You get to pick one. What is your organization's distinctive competence? You can't be all three. You can't be everything to everybody. You'll be, that's a recipe for mediocrity. So your job as a leader is to craft the organizational behaviors, the, the habitual, create the habitual behaviors that lead to agility. Anyway, he defined habit as the intersection of three things. Knowledge, knowing what to do. Skill, knowing how to do it. And attitude, knowing why to do it. Gives you the impetus to act. Where they intersect is where you get habit. The stronger the intersection, the stronger the habit. The looser the intersection, the looser the habit. Follow me is way more effective than, hey, you, go over there and do this. Right? B 
be a model first, a coach second, and never a critic. Nobody ever built a statue of a critic. Agile leadership is about leading, comma, for change.